first of all we need the add-on txa landscape just download the zip file and install it in blender once installed with shift a click on txa landscape we can open the properties here as you can see we have many presets for different terrains and we can customize it we can change the size change the seed the height we can also use a different effect just play with the settings to create your terrain also here in strata we can use it to create terraces just change the amount here also texture size we need to increase it but the most important thing is that in modifiers we have a subdivision surface and displace modifiers we can increase the subdivision levels as you can see now we have more details but don't forget to increase texture size otherwise it won't work once your terrain is ready just click outside the window to accept the properties but if you want to reopen it just hit F9 we can also add erosion to the terrain hit N open TXA landscape and just click on landscape eroder wait for the process to finish and there are some settings here that we can adjust now for texturing we need to apply the modifiers right click and convert to mesh now open the shader editor add the material and for rendering I'm gonna use cycles also add a sky texture just play with the sun rotation or elevation and make sure to create the UVs into edit mode hit U cube projection now select the shader and press ctrl shift T if it doesn't work make sure you have not Wrangler add-on enabled the textures I'm going to use are from polyheaven.com the links will be in video description just select the color normal and roughness now in the shader we don't need specular so we can set it to zero and we can repeat the texture and now we can add a displace modifier and we can use procedural texture or an image texture so I'm gonna use the displacement texture from polyheaven now here in mapping I'm gonna match the scale in this case 10 now let's go back to modifiers and change coordinates to UV and now we can adjust the strength now we can mix more textures to break the repetition we can add a new principal shader now select both shaders and press ctrl 0 on the numpad now select the textures I'm gonna use grass textures and we can create a mask to control the grass visibility so we can add a geometry node also a separate x y and z and just connect z to factor we can control it with a color ramp we can add the subdivision surface but we need to move it up so it can affect the displace and here I just added a camera and imported an image plane I 
I want to add trees to the scene, so I'm going to use Asset Browser to add the tree. The Nature Pack is available to download on my Gumroad in our station store. Now to distribute the trees, I'm going to use Bagapai add-on. It's free. Just select the tree, then the terrain, press J, and click on Scatter Paint. If the viewport slows down, just turn off the subdivision and displace. And now we can paint the trees. Here in Bagapai Properties, I'm going to lower a line normal because I don't want to use it for this. And we can set the minimal distance, the density, and randomize the scale and rotation. Finally, we can play a little with the color textures. I'm going to add a hue saturation node to the grass texture and just try to adapt the colors to the scene. Okay, this is a good option to create terrains because we do the whole process within Blender, but if you need something more realistic, you can use Gaia, for example. I hope you can find something useful. See you next time.